expedite uh, this hearing because you know the uh, individuals you heard from tonight and and the others that we represent are currently without shelter. So the the faster that we can move this process along, the, the faster we can get people into safe, decent housing. And um, so we have a we have a volunteer group uh, that's lined up for later in August to uh, do a mass build of uh, six or seven of our bungalow shelters and another group of uh, five Conestogas. Uh, we literally can build about half of this uh, site uh, in a weekend. And we'd like to get that done uh, before Labor Day uh, so that we can get this up and running and get people in um, and get so they can get on with their lives. So anything you can do to help would be greatly appreciated. So, very good. Thank you very much. And, and I just what uh, in terms of the neighbors, that one of the early things we did, we learned from a bad experience prior to that, of the importance of that. And when we went and knocked on doors, and, and we talked to uh, some people who had concerns, and the fact that they did not uh, come tonight to express opposition, I think, is an indication that we were able to ameliorate those concerns and show that, yeah, we really are working hard to make sure that this is run well, that this is a model for our community. And we hope that once people see this, that uh, when we go to another neighborhood, they will welcome us with open arms because they can see both that it's well run, it's clean, there are decent people, um, and it will bring a benefit uh, to the community as well as to the neighborhood. So thank you very much. You're welcome.